How Surface Area Affects Rate of Reaction by kscience.com Here we have two containers, where there are larger lumps on the left and smaller lumps on the right. Here's one large lump, and here are many smaller lumps with the same mass as the one large lump. The one large lump has a smaller surface area compared to the surface area of all the small lumps combined. The lumps represent calcium carbonate, and we're going to understand how does the surface area of these calcium carbonate lumps affect the rate of reaction when they react with these hydrochloric acid molecules. So these lumps are made of CaCO3, which is calcium carbonate, and these red dots represent HCl, which is hydrochloric acid. Now, if these hydrochloric acid molecules collide with the calcium carbonate compounds with enough energy, successful collisions will take place. We can see only the outer surface of the calcium carbonate chip is exposed to react with the hydrochloric acid. The calcium carbonate on the inside is not exposed. So reactions will not take place on the inside. Whereas the smaller lumps have a larger surface area or larger surface area to volume ratio. There is more of the calcium carbonate exposed. Therefore, there are more points of contact between the calcium carbonate and the hydrochloric acid molecules. This allows there to be a higher frequency of collisions, so there is a higher chance of successful collisions. So after a certain amount of time, only the outer surface of the large lump of calcium carbonate has reacted. Whereas with the smaller lumps, we can see although only the outer surface of each small lump has also reacted, because more of the calcium carbonate was exposed, this means more successful collisions took place. We can see with the larger lumps, only the outer surface has reacted. The inside has not reacted, as there is less surface for collisions. This is down to the larger lumps having a smaller surface area to volume ratio, or you can say a smaller surface area. In the reaction with the smaller lumps, only the outer surface has reacted as well. However, there is more surface for collisions, so there have been more successful reactions. This is caused by the smaller lumps having a larger surface area to volume ratio, or you can say a larger surface area. Let's now go through the specific language you'll need to explain how surface area affects the rate of reaction. Larger lumps have a smaller surface area, or you can say surface area to volume ratio. This means there is less of the solid exposed, so there is less surface for collisions. This lowers the frequency of collisions, so the chance of successful collisions decreases. Overall, this lowers the rate of reaction. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Whereas the smaller lumps have a larger surface area or surface area to volume ratio. This means more solid is exposed, so there is more surface for collisions. Therefore, there is a higher frequency of collisions, so the chance of successful collisions increases. So there is a higher rate of reaction. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.